Hi everyone, this is Dr. Serena Killam. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you um, how to use Scrivener for writing your thesis. I've got some tips and tricks for you and we're going to have a look at getting quotes and um, uh, information from your readings out into your thesis. So this is an article that I co-wrote a couple of years ago. Um, now let's say I wanted to include some of this text into my thesis. So I've highlighted it here and um, I must say I'm doing this on a Mac. So this only works on a Mac. Um, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to services. If you don't know how to set up services on your Mac, then you need to Google that. And what I want to do is I want to make a new clipping in Scrivener. I have to exit full screen mode here for that to show up, I think. Uh, yeah, it's showed up on my other screen. I've got two screens. So this little pop-up box will come up here and enter a title for the new clipping. Now, usually for the first time I do a clipping, I like to include the author's surname and a bit of the title so I know where the clipping is coming from. So this is by Palmer. Oh, Palmer. All ethics field work. So that's probably enough for me to find it again. Maybe the year might be handy as well. Just so when I go and look at my endnote bibliography, I can remember exactly what article. Click OK. If I go over to Scrivener, um, it should... It has not yet given me the clipping over here. Let's go and check out why that is. Mm -hmm. I don't have any other Scrivener files open. Oh, yes, I do. And it's accidentally put it into my other Scrivener file. So let's close this one. Close project. Okay. The backup file does not exist. Let's try that again and see if it adds it to the correct project. Okay, Palmer et al. Field work 2014. Okay. Okay, so now you can see that automatically a new folder has been added here. And there is the title of what I put in the title for my clipping. And here is the actual clipping, the actual text that I'd highlighted over in the PDF. So I do like to put the page number in. Be kind to yourself. Um, when you do this, don't forget to put the page numbers in and think you'll come back to it. You won't come back to it and you just create a lot of work. So that's on page four. So page four. Okay, so... Now that is my first clipping. So my first clipping, I always use like the author's surname and a bit of the title and a year helps you find it easily. All right, let's go back to my article. And let's come somewhere else down here. And I let's say I want to add this bit in. Now services. Um, I don't want to make a new clipping at the moment. I just want to add it to the current text. Okay, so let's think of the title. Now, because I in the previous one, I already used the author's um, surname. I don't need to do that this time. And I know it's going to make it bold. I just know that from experience. You'll see it in a second. So here is what I tend to do is relate it to my own thoughts. This is a really important question and I think that I should link this to chapter one, concept A. Okay, all right, let's go and have a look what happened in Scrivener. So because I had this part already highlighted in Scrivener, the Palmer et al, that was the current part I was working on. And you can see here my text that I typed in has automatically turned up in bold. And then the bit that I copied from the PDF is directly there. So 
that's a really great way to get your notes from different articles straight into Scrivener, straight into your thesis. Let's go and have a look now what would happen if I was working in chapter two. Case studies. Let's call this one case studies. Okay, so I've got this highlighted. Let's go back over here into my article. I'll scroll back up and let's say I want to look at Jane's case study. Okay, I'm just going to copy this bit from Jane's case study. I go to services and again, I want to append it um, to the text already. Here is, oh, well, I hit enter too soon there. So it just says here is Jan. It's actually Jane. Sorry about that, Jane. Okay, so now under case studies, it's turned up. And remembering again that this is a direct quote. Um, so I should check out what page it's on, page five. And then I just put it in there as page five. So I hope that hint helps you get all the stuff directly out of your PDFs into Scrivener.